Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy sits on the House Select Committee on the Strategic Competition between the U.S. and the Chinese Communist Party. And he says that the talks are a hopeful sign between the two nations, but there's still room for improvement in China's human rights policies. Congressman Krishnamurthy, thanks indeed for joining us. President Biden met the Chinese Foreign Minister at the White House today, uh, Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Given the recent rhetoric that we've he heard from the president about the level of the strategic threat posed by China to the U.S., does this mark something of a softening of relations? I think it's a, a hopeful development in the relationship. I think that um, as ranking member of the select committee with regard to the Chinese Communist Party that was established in Congress, I think that it was very important for President Biden to explain our positions on a number of issues to Wang Yi, including the need to lower CCP aggression, uh, both militarily, but also economically, and um, to make sure that they understand our grave concerns about the crackdown on human rights, whether it's against the Uyghurs or whether it's the Tibetans or Hong Kongers or other dissidents too. Now, we heard some very strong words from President Biden earlier this week in relation to the activities in the South China Sea, reiterating the U.S.'s uh, ironclad, as he put it, defense of the Philippines should China attack. Now, we're told that President Biden did raise that topic today. Uh, what, what do you think the likely exchange there would have been? I'm sure that it was a candid exchange. Uh, they, they need to understand, the CCP needs to understand that we are treaty allies with the Philippines and that any kind of aggression toward the Philippines uh, would be something that would trigger our treaty obligations to come to the Philippines' defense. In general, the CCP is very aggressive with regard to its neighbors, not just the Philippines, but Taiwan, India, and others. And uh, just last night, or within the last 24 hours, a um, Chinese fighter jet came within 10 feet of a U.S. bomber that was going over the South China Sea, and that could have resulted in a catastrophic incident. So this type of thing has to stop. Now, we saw last night the death was announced of the former Premier Li Keqiang. Do you think his passing will have any impact on the U.S.-China relationship? I don't think so, uh, not necessarily, except that it is a reminder of a time when uh, Chinese economic policy under Premier Li was done in a much more technocratic way. How do we grow? I think the question that he uh, tried to answer is how do we grow uh, the PRC's economy and how do we um, uh, do so in ways that are uh, perhaps more compatible with what we want in the West, which is an international rules-based order. Um, all that being said, um, I don't think that his passing will necessarily affect the relationship. Although, as you know, um, on the heels of General Li Shangfu uh, being sacked, as well as Foreign Minister Xin Gang being sacked, a number of familiar faces are disappearing from the scene for reasons that we quite don't understand. We'll have to leave it there for the moment, but Congressman Krishnamurthy, thanks indeed for joining us. Sure.